Okay, welcome to my recap of East vs. West 6. I am Leah Robb, the arm wrestling artist, and I went to East vs. West 6 mainly to meet John Precinct and see him win. <laughs> Uh, but I had the pleasure of uh, meeting all sorts of different people there, uh, including Travis Bajent and Neil Pickup. And both of those guys were just really welcoming and very friendly, and I really enjoyed uh, just meeting them. And uh, then I got to, to meet John, and um, yeah, I was a little bit kind of uh, unsure not because I'm starstruck, but because, you know, I really want to do this portrait of him. And at first he was really positive about it, and then he kind of got cold feet. And so I didn't really know where I had him, but um, it's still cool to meet him. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that experience in a bit. So the first arm wrestlers that I met were either John's coming opponents or previous opponents, which in some ways there's no surprise because he's been pulling so many people but it was like uh, Oleg here uh, who I got my photograph with then I bumped into Denis Plankov and uh, said hello to him um, and then I met Rustin Babayev here who was Poland's opponent he was so sweet um, sad that he got injured I shook his hand after the match obviously very carefully and it was definitely not making any attempt at a grip and then um, Zurab. Now Zurab I asked for an interview with so I did an interview and you can see that in one of my previous videos and um, other than that I also gave him one of the Danish strong licorices to try. I, he doesn't like it and he doesn't not like it. Okay, okay. So I'm like, I have decided to share uh, a Danish licorice with yeah, the bats. <laughs> so it, uh, apparently it will help uh, him to... Uh, He'll be get stronger. Yeah. Get, get stronger and beat, beat John <laughs> in the <laughs> match. <laughs> ask, him, ask him to say, say that. Take sure. Zur was pretty funny. He was like, I think you're trying to poison me because you're a fan of John. <laughs> So then, of course, we had to go down to the the beach or the harbour side and uh, see where it is that Dennis Aplenko finds his little cats to stroke. It was very pretty down there. And that was also around the place where I bumped into Neil and Travis Bajent and John. I'm here together with Tony Christensen, the Lone Star. He was active on an international scene um, maybe 10-15 years ago and performed at Arm Wars and my journalist friend Cassini came too because I made such a fuss about John Brzezink and then we of course decided to go on a little holiday and see Istanbul and Athens while we were at it and then along comes the main event and as you can see I'm sitting there in the black uh, next to Tony Christensen we had front row seats basically because people haven't caught on that you can actually Go and see this event live and it costs fifty dollars to get in um, but it's a really unique experience i would say and i thought well since i'm an artist and since i have this desire to do portraits first and foremost of john Prasink, but then of maybe some of the other guys that why not sit there with my posca pens and do some sketches while people are setting up so here are a series of the paintings that I did during the event and some were easier to do than others like the one of Cory versus Ferret Osmanov because that was a five setter and it was a long five setter I had a lot, lot longer time to to work on the picture so as you can see um, that that was actually almost completed at the event um, and I didn't have to do touch-ups some of the other ones I really did need to do touch-up unfortunately for Ray, um, his match went a bit too fast, so I had to work from from video footage afterwards. Um, he was very sweet before the match. He was like, yeah, he was 100% sure he was going to win. He was feeling great. And when I spoke to him after the event, he was like, I'm sorry. And I was like, what for? I lost. <laughs> and I was like, oh well. So he gave me a hug and I gave him a hug. and. 
That was kind of nice. And Gabby, likewise, she was like, oh, no. Oh. Bit miffed at having lost, but she still signed the drawing that I did of her and Barbara. And then, yeah, Epicomic, he was very dominant in his match, so that went quite fast, so I had to work from photos for that one too. Um, it was a very difficult challenge to try and paint people while they're constantly moving during a sport. Even in the setup, there's a lot of movement and it's not that long unless you've got Devin, then it could maybe take a while. But yeah, just about John. So I spoke a bit to John down at the, the beach about the poor portrait and I mean, he didn't sound like he was definitely not interested. Um, told him that that which interests me is more what he says about his life rather than what we've all interpreted. He was like, all right, okay. Um, then I watched his match and to be honest, I do miss a bit of commentary during even the live show because I'm not that uh, good at seeing arm wrestling yet. I'm still learning and uh, getting better at arm wrestling but still learning and so to have somebody just helping me read what I'm seeing would be would be good even if you're at the live event so maybe that's a note for Ingen. Um and unfortunately John lost and I think he could have won I think somebody made a funny comment that he snatched uh, a loss out of the jaws of victory um, but that's not to take away from Iraqli's uh, heart effort. It was very impressive. And it was a great match to actually watch. As was the match with Ongar Baev and uh, Michael Todd. I just thought the way that Ongar Baev kept his hand undulating so that he never stopped. You know, he didn't get to a stop. He, he would make a movement that, that um, was followed by another hand movement, wrist movement. Um, in his surges, which was pretty impressive. So after those two matches, like, okay, John is sitting second to the aisle, so I could maybe go and ask him about uh, the prospect of Irakli and Ongarbaev um, and and their what they're like compared to each other. I mean, I ended up sitting next to him because the the referee that was sitting next to him, when I came along, he just like, do you want to sit here? I was like, well, don't mind if I do. Do you mind, John? Anyway, he actually thought they were pretty similar in, in standard. Um, but it was funny just observing how big his arm looked after that match. Honestly, I just think, I feel like I'm looking at two piglets, the bicep and the forearm. <laughs> Um, yeah, it was a shame that he was still foggy from post-corona's time. He didn't really seem all that uh, communicative and, and to be honest, I wasn't all that communicative either because of my unsureness of, you know, whether he wanted to, to talk to me or not. But then, you know, when John and I Skyped or Zoom called each other a, a year ago, uh, I showed him how thin my wrist was on screen and he was like, oh, but your hand's quite big and your forearm's pretty big, so you've got some potential there. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if that's just the, you know, the illusion when you have a camera and you put your arm closer to it. So I asked him, you know, what do you mean by this? Now you can see my hand for real. And he's like, well, you know, you're quite long from the wrist up to the fingers where they start so the palm of my hand is quite long which is good for arm wrestling and I guess I just have to take it from the goat because who am I to argue so I, I had a lot of other questions or comments or things I would just have liked to have said or asked him uh, but didn't uh, which annoys me uh, I had a funny thing to tell him as well which I'll maybe wait till another time if I get a chance. But all in all, a good experience and I also was glad that I made it into a holiday and went to see Istanbul and Athens. There was a lot of uh, nice, nice places to go and experiences to be had while I was down in that neck of the woods. So anyway, that was my little recap uh, just as we're heading towards uh, East vs West 7. 
going to be epic.